this happened 10 years ago. It was the beginning of summer and I was home alone. I invited my friend over who actually lived across the street from me. We sat at my computer, which was a desktop, just to chill out and watch YouTube. Now since this was in 2009, there wasn't much to watch on YouTube. We got bored after a while and my friend started talking to me about the dark web. He said his friend told him about it and then he told me about it. He told me there was a difference between the deep web and the dark web and the dark web was where it was at. He said there was a lot of illegal and brutal kind of stuff. He said it had red rooms and websites where you can buy weed, fake IDs, stuff like that. So let's just say the dark web has a lot of messed up garbage and sick people out in this world. He was telling me you had to access it through a different type of browser, the Tor browser. I was setting it all up, downloading a bunch of different software for safety. It was past 8 p.m. when my friend had to go back home, so it was just me alone again. I finally installed everything and was ready, but I made sure I was safe by typing in Google search bar, what is my IP? And sure enough, it was a totally different one. I accessed the browser and off I went to look for something local, if possible. There were a lot of links. I didn't actually click on them though, only because I wanted to be as safe as possible. I was reading the titles though, and there was a lot of stuff like brutal murders and torture. I also saw the other sites where you would buy illegal stuff. I was looking around for at least an hour. As I was searching more and more, I realized that I was getting deeper into the page and there was a lot more brutal stuff, stuff I don't even want to talk about. Then I found a link. It didn't seem bad or anything. It literally was titled, What is the Dark Web? I thought it would just be a video telling me all about it, so stupidly I clicked on it. My computer froze, and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't even turn it off. A black box appeared on my screen. I couldn't close it though, and I still couldn't turn off my computer. I then noticed I was in the chat room. People were saying, come on already and hurry up. I realized that the black screen was a turned off camera and then it turned on. I saw a giant man standing in the living room. I couldn't see his face though. And he wasn't standing that close to the camera. He then was started to walk towards it and picked it up. He slowly brought up the camera up to his head. He was wearing a pig mask. Honestly, it was scary. If you go on Google Images and search up Psycho Pig Mask, that's the one he was wearing. He then turned the camera around and started walking to a bedroom. He turned the night vision on and walked in. There was a baby in the crib next to his mother in a rocking chair where they both slept. He slowly walked up to the mother and put his camera next to her and I shit you not, he covered her mouth with a chloroform soaked cloth. After a while, she was out cold. He then picked up the sleeping baby and held him to the camera and gently laid him back in the crib. I started raging and screaming at my computer monitor, cussing at the psycho. As he was staring at the baby after he set it back in the crib, I was still cursing. It was like he heard me though. The people in the chat were cheering him on to do more. I couldn't take it anymore and I tried turning my computer off, but it wouldn't even turn off. He took his camera and picked up the mother, taking her to the bathroom where he proceeded to cut off her extremities while she was still alive. He put tourniquets on her and cleaned her up. He bandaged her up and placed her back in a rocking chair. He then walked into the parents room where the husband was asleep and stared at him for about five minutes. I yelled at the scream, you're a sicko out loud. And again, the man looked at the camera, but this time he tilted his head. It was like he was staring at me again. He was staring at the camera for like a minute. He walked towards it, picked it up, and stared at the lens for another minute. He finally turned it off. I had control over my computer again. I just turned it off. I couldn't believe what I saw. It was disgusting. It was a little past 10 p.m. I just sat there staring at my turned off computer screen, but then my computer turned on again. It instantly went to another video. It was the same guy again. He was staring at the camera. I was the only viewer. 
it looked like he was standing outside of a house. He put his hand over the camera and I heard him walking. He pointed the camera into a window and he started recording someone. My heart sank. He was recording me. I turned my head to the window. There stood a man over six foot five wearing that pig mask. He put the camera into his bag and he just stood there. I just stood there. I couldn't move. I was frozen in fear. He took out a knife and raised it up while tilting his head. But by some miracle, a car was driving up my street and the pig man took off. The car pulled up to my driveway. It was my dad. I don't know why, but I didn't tell anyone about this. Two days later, I went outside to my mailbox and I noticed there was something for me. It was in an envelope. I opened it up. It was unfolded in crumpled up paper. It said, you're lucky your dad came home, you little bitch. I didn't show or tell anyone. I actually still have that note. And yeah, I do agree with him. I am lucky my dad came home.